Good morning. Today we are going to talk about balsam fir and cardamom. And balsam fir is a great oil that I'm super excited to get. It's a limited time oil that you can get this month um, if you place a 125 point order by the 15th. So aren't these are this is a forest of balsam fir trees isn't that gorgeous i love balsam fir and i'm super excited to get this oil because of the cool things that it um it does so it is really known as being one of the most fragrant holiday tree varieties it um, grows in the pine forest in northeast canada its main constituent is alpha pinene, and it gives balsam fir a very uplifting um, aroma, but it also helps with skin cleansing and skin soothing benefits when it's applied topically. When it's diffused, it enlivens, it energizes, um, and, and it also brings in the memories of holidays. When I was growing up, then we always got a, a live Christmas tree. Um, now, since I've been married, most of the time we've had an artificial tree, but we would always get a live tree, and I love that fresh um, pine scent. It is sourced, like I said, in Canada, and it has a really cool steam distillation method, of which it's the same as for black spruce. And on doTERRA's YouTube channel, then there is a, um, there's a video about how this works but essentially they have a power plant right next to the distillery and between the two they feed each other and it results in a redu reduction of the waste it generates electricity and results in a 60 percent reduction of greenhouse gas emissions compared to the um, conventional processes and the oil is steam distilled from the bark the trees grow to over 80 feet in height and they live 100 years. The main parts of the tree are primarily used for pulp and construction. And it doesn't grow in urban areas because it doesn't like um, air pollution. And so it grows in the lush forests that are kind of away and remote where they can get fresh, clean air. So the um, the emotional benefits of balsam fir are great. It's the oil of acceptance. When we look at the natural environment, then there's a power in the natural environment. Um, and when you look at the environment, everything works together. Um, the types of vegetation that grow together, the mature trees versus the young trees, the, um, the pine cones falling down um, to the ground and sprouting new trees that just everything all works together and that is the same thing that it can that balsam fir can do to us it helps us embrace who we really are it doesn't matter what stage of life we're in what cycle of life we're in but we can embrace the stage that we're at and realize that we're all part of the bigger whole that that we all work together it helps us realize that healing doesn't have to be tumultuous. And that can be healing from trauma, that can be healing from, um, from physical things, it can be any kind of healing. It can help us go through changes, um, whether that be moving to a new place, moving to a new home, having your kids grow up and leave. Um, all the changes that we face in life, balsam fir can help us go through those changes with poise, grace, and ease. It can really help older women like me go through, who, when we start to feel like we're less relevant and don't have as much purpose in our lives, it can help us embrace who we are and realize that we've got wisdom, we've got things to offer. We might not have the energy that we used to, but we have um, lots to offer. The bark on trees protects the trees and it can, um, this is steam distilled from the bark, it can do the same thing for humans. It can act as a coat of armor for us and help us set boundaries. 
it can help us so we can feel comfortable with other people but still have boundaries. Sometimes the bark on trees gets too thick and it's harmful for the trees if it gets too thick. Well, sometimes people have pretty thick bark and they come across as detached and emotionally cold. So using balsam fir, diffusing it or applying it topically can help lessen our armor a little bit and help us be more open to people. Sometimes our bark can be too thin and we can be susceptible to other people and get dragged into other people's messes. Does that ever happen to anybody but me? It certainly happens to me. So we can, it can, balsam fir can help us shake off negative influences and energy from others. It can be like water on a duck's back and just roll off and, and have us be good that way. So the primary uses of it is it's great in skin care. You can add a drop of balsam fir to your facial cleanser, soap bar, or body wash to um, get cleansing benefit and stimulating aroma to your regular personal care routines. You can combine one or two drops of balsam fir with fractionated coconut oil and have um, coconut oil, unscented lotion, or body butter for a cooling sensation on the skin and for a super relaxing massage. You can add a couple of drops to Epsom salts and then put it in your bath water for a soothing end of the day soak and just let you relax after a hard day. You can make scented ornaments. Um, with the balsam fir, you're going to get a dolomite Christmas tree ornament that you can add essential oils to and hang on your tree and that way your artificial tree can smell like a real Christmas tree. Um, with the handout then there's um, also um, directions on how to make scented pine cones. You can diffuse um, three to five drops of balsam fir oil to provide a refreshing grounding forest-like atmosphere it's especially fitting for winter months or around your favorite holidays. Add it to a natural cleaner, a few drops of wild orange and balsam fir in a spray bottle with water. Makes for one of the best smelling kitchen cleaners of all time. It's also really supportive of your respiratory system. You can diffuse it during the day to help you breathe easier. It can, um, you can combine it with fractionate coconut oil and rub it on your chest. You can diffuse it during the night and it will help you sleep better because it helps your breathing um, to be more relaxed and easier. And it um, does a, it provides a relaxing atmosphere. So I wanna talk about something new that's a little bit different than balsam fir, but you use balsam fir with this. It is called forest bathing. Forest bathing is defined as making contact, contact with and taking in the atmosphere of the forest. What sets forest bathing apart from simply taking a walk in the forest is that we consciously take in the sights, sounds, smells, and the whole experience rather than allowing our minds to do the things they habitually do, like putting together a mental grocery list. Results of a study of 280 subjects conducted in 2010 found that forest bathing was associated with lower levels of a stress indicator called cortisol, lower pulse rate, lower blood pressure. The participants of the study had decreased activity in the part of the nervous system that activates when we are stressed and increased activity in the part of the um, nervous system that activates when we are relaxed. Relaxing like this is crucial for good health if you consider the fact that chronic stress reduces immune function and makes us more prone to depression, heart disease, and other disorders. So it's one thing to put our bodies in nature, but it's another thing to put our minds there to bathe in it. Lots of times when we go out in nature, when we're at the park, when we are in a forest, then we're thinking about our to-do list. We're thinking about the grocery list. We're thinking about all the things that we have to do. And that's not letting, um, 
our minds just calm down and be relaxed in it. The forest knows how to endure hard storms. It is optimistic in every moment, always reaching upward for light. It's not hurried, but honors time and the duration of change. It reminds us of how to care for oneself along our journey, to reflect on the past with forgiveness and gratitude, to look onward for new growth with added wisdom and perspective, with balance and grace, with strength and stability, and above all with profound love. So you can, we can't always get to a forest to do forest bathing, but we can bring the forest bathing to our home by using um, the arborvitae, black spruce, cedarwood, cypress, eucalyptus, frankincense, enoki, northern escape, Siberian fir, and Douglas fir. So we can breathe the forest, bring the forest bathing to us and get all the benefits just right in our homes. But the thing about it is, is that there again, we have to let our minds bathe in the aromas so that we get the relaxing um, benefits of it. One caution with um, balsam fir is it has possible skin sensitivity. So um, have, use it with fresh egg coconut oil and dilute it. So in your handout, I've got a couple of recipes for um, diffuser blends and directions on how to make um, scented pine cones for you to do that. So cardamom is the next oil we're going to talk about. Um, it is 10% off this month. And the le on the left is what a cardamom plant looks like. And on the right are some cardamom seeds. And it is um, steam distilled from the seeds. So cardamom is a close relative to ginger. It's known as an expensive cooking spice and for being beneficial in the digestive system in a variety of ways. It has profound effects on the respiratory system due to its high 1,8 signal content, which promotes clear breathing and respiratory health. It's rich in powerful phytonutrients and especially high in manganese, a trace mineral that helps the body form connective tissues, bones, and sex hormones. It's crucial for normal nerve and brain function and plays a role in carbohydrate metabolism. Uh, it, the cardamom seeds are grown in Guatemala um, and it's also great for blood sugar regulation. The co-impact sourcing is with the, in Guatemala, the co-impact sourcing has had a huge impact on the lives of the people that are there. And, um, so, so that's another really good thing about the cardamom. Both um, co-impact sourcing and healing hands have done some marvelous things uh, in Guatemala. So, um, cardamom is the oil of objectivity. Cardamom helps individuals to regain objectivity, mental sobriety, and self-control. It assists individuals who frequently feel frustrated or angry with other people. It is especially helpful for times when one's anger goes to their head, causing them to become hot-headed. Cardamom is especially beneficial for individuals with a long history of anger or aggression, which often becomes directed outward. It is helpful for those who hyper-focus on their problems, especially their frustrations. Cardamom helps individuals let go of emotional distortions which cause them to objectify other people and see them as inconveniences. Cardamom demands that individuals stop blaming others. So the negative emotions that we can combat with cardamom are anger, easily frustrated, blaming, unable to think clearly. The positive properties are being able to be objective, um, self-control, respectful, tolerant, patient, and mental sobriety. It blends well with thyme, serenity, oregano, breathe, wild orange, bergamot, cinnamon, clove, and cedarwood. And cardamom is found in breathe. 
its properties are digestive, antispasmodic, anti-inflammatory, decongestant, expectorant, tonic, stomachic, I don't know if that's the way you say it, that is something that keeps the stomach healthy and functioning properly, carminative, antiseptic, antimicrobial, astringent, and a diuretic substance. So some of the benefits of cardamom are it is great to help you get rid of bad breath. You can take it in a capsule um, or you can diffuse it in the air to clear your home of odors. It can be great to put a few drops in water and use it as a um, mouthwash. It will disinfect the oral cavity of germs and eliminate bad breath. It is helpful in supporting a proper blood sugar level. So it's great when you have issues with your blood sugar. Cardamom is a traditional remedy in Chinese and Ayurvedic medicine for the treatment of digestive issues like stomach aches. It boosts digestion by stimulating the whole digestive system. It helps maintain the proper secretion of gastric juices, acids, and bile in the stomach. It also protects the stomach from infections. It can slow down muscle contractions in the intestines and ease bowel looseness. When you have struggle with breathing issues and some serious breathing issues, cardamom is helpful in supporting that. It is um, effective in supporting your muscular and respiratory system to function properly and to not of muscle pulls and cramps. It um, boosts your metabolism. It can also boost your spirit in the cases of depression and fatigue. It stimulates secretion of various enzymes, hormones, gastric juices, peristaltic motion, circulation and excretion, thus maintaining proper metabolic action throughout the body. So doesn't that sound great? Um, it can also be used for sore throat, for mental fatigue and confusion. Um, it can be used a lot in cooking. You will have a possible skin sensitive sensitivity, so be aware of that and have you know dilute it with fractionated coconut oil. Try it on just a teeny bit on um, your wrist or forearm and see if you are going to react or if it gets too hot and immediately put fractionated coconut on, oil on. And if it's getting too hot, then it will um, soothe that. Um, another great use for it is you can take or apply diluted around your eye to support optimal eyesight during the maturing years of life. Obviously with my glasses, and I am definitely in the maturing um, age of life, years of life, so I think I'm going to start trying this and applying cardamom. And you, just, you don't want to get it in your eyes. You just want to apply it on this occipital bone that goes around your eyes. But have it, have it diluted. So thank you for joining um, the, the um, recording of this will be up on YouTube, which if you're watching it, then you've obviously found it on YouTube. Um, but it will get posted, and if you are interested in the handouts, then just contact me. You can, most of you have my um, cell phone number that you can text me or just message me through Facebook, and that will be great. Thanks so much for joining me, and have a great rest of your week, and enjoy your balsam fur. Place a 125-point order before the 15th. Get your balsam fur and your cardamom. Um, that's 10% off. You can get cardamom anytime. So have a great day. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next week. We're talking about frankincense. Thanks. Bye.